So we're going to be adjusting the clutch on a 2016 Ninja 650. Uh, my clutch lever has a significant amount of slack in it and the actuation point is too close to the bar given that I use two fingers on the shorty clutch. Um, so as you can see there, the barrel adjuster right by the clutch lever itself is all the way out, threaded all the way out, so I can't adjust it there anymore. So we're going to actually reset that adjustment. So pop the, the lock nut there, thread the barrel adjuster all the way back in. And so that'll be where we kind of restart and we can now adjust the clutch lever at the bottom of the bike. Um, so you're going to want two to three millimeters of slack. Um, as you can see here, when I adjust the clutch all the way in, I don't have pretty much all, almost all slack, so we're going to need to fix that. But step one is to take that barrel adjuster at the top and thread it all the way in. And so our next step here, you're going to see on the right side of the bike, um, in this video, a little clip here on pulling the clutch lever up top, you can see that the clutch is barely actuating. Um, so that's kind of a sign here that this is not going to work. And so this is the other head of the cable, the clutch cable. Um, so you're going to follow it right down from there, a little bit farther up and behind the fairing, you're going to find this little jam nut and barrel adjusters. So that's what we're going to be using to, uh, to adjust the clutch cable. And so you can see it right there. And so what we're going to have to do is we're going to need to take off four bolts on the right side fairing. Again, we're on the right side, non-drive side of the bike. And you don't have to fully take the fairing off, but you're going to have to take those four bolts off, pop it out a little bit, and that'll give us access to the adjustment. And so to make our adjustment down at this jam nut here, we're going to need a 10 millimeter open end wrench and an 8 millimeter open end wrench. So the thinner jam nut that you can see there sitting in between the kind of two wider cylinders, that is going to be a 10 millimeter. So to break that off, assuming it's tight, you're going to need a 10 millimeter on that and then an 8 millimeter on the longer cylinder uh, above it. So basically you put the wrench on both and you twist opposite directions and that jam nut will come off. Um, and so in my scenario, I'm going to need to tighten the clutch cable. So I'm going to take that barrel above the jam nut and we're going to thread it. If you're facing, let's say you're sitting on the bike, we're facing up that way. We're going to thread it clockwise. Um, so you're going to thread it out. You're going to expose the threads, threads and that's going to tighten up your, your clutch. And so as you do this a couple turns at a time, again with your 8 millimeter, you can check up top at the clutch itself and see if it's taking out the slack. Um, that's how you know if you're going the wrong way. Just check the clutch lever itself. Um, so that's right there is the adjustment I took. It's going to be pretty far out, um, taking up a lot. I had to take up a lot of slack. Um, and so once that's set, you take that 10 millimeter, move the jam nut back up towards the barrel itself, and then that'll lock it in place. And so. You're going to want to check the clutch again, and if it's right for you or not right for you, you can start to make the smaller adjustments at the barrel adjuster at the clutch lever itself. Um, and then you're always going to want to start the bike up and make sure it is actually fully engaging and going into gear and make sure you can actually uh, and disengage into neutral. Um, but that's pretty much it. You're done. You're going to put the bolts back up on your fairing and make sure that's clicked back into place.